Hey everybody, Christina Marie here. Uh, if you can't tell from, you know, my couple of videos ago where I was having huge car trouble, that's done. I don't have a new car. I still have my old car, but it's better than ever and I'm so happy because I just did not want a car payment. But uh, yeah, I'm blessed and I'm so ecstatic and things could not be better for me right now. Oh. So uh, I just thought I'd come here uh, to do the I Love Fall tag. I was tagged by my friend Mimi, um, or I am Elaine, and she is fantastic. I love her. Um, she doesn't know it, but she's one of my inspirations for going ahead and finally getting my uh, YouTube channel launched. So love you, girl. Thanks so much. Uh, I will link her information around here and in or in uh, the description box below. But uh, it's a tag, uh, the I Love Fall tag that was started by another um, YouTube guru. So I saw Miss Glamorazzi's version, I saw um, Mimi's version, so here is mine. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's see, question number one. Favorite fall lip product? I am wearing one of them. And that is um, the Rimmel by Kate lipstick in number 11. And this is it right here. Let me show you what that looks like there. And then it's on my lips as well. I love it. It's a really, it's a deep red, which I really, really love for fall. Um, and then I have another lip product, which is also by Rimmel. It's the Rimmel Stay Glossy. And it's a really, really pretty berry color lip gloss with some glitter in it. Let me turn it that way so it can read correctly. With some berry glitter, berry, with some glitter in it. And it's called All Night Long. You may have seen it in my Get Ready With Me uh, video, my previous video, because um, I use that on my lips. I used to hate lip glosses or I, I lost the love for them, but now I, it's back. I am so ready. I will wear this by itself, so. And then the third lip product is another Rimmel lipstick or lip product. And this is number 840 Burgundy Shine. And let me show you that color right there. It's kind of almost similar to the lip gloss. It's just a lipstick version of the lip gloss. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And there it is right there swatched on my hand. If you can see, there you go. So um, there's that. Let me get this off my hand because I do not want to wipe it or get it smeared on my bed or anything like that. Okay, so those will be the lip products. Then the next question is favorite nail polish. Now you guys know me. You know I just recently went on a nail polish haul so I could not choose just one. I have three. And here they are. The first one is um, Velvet Rope. Revlon Color Stay, this gorgeous deep red color, almost similar to my lips. Oh, love, love you too, <laughs> my friend Jake. Gosh. Um, then the next one is Bold Sangria, which is a deep purple, and that's actually what I have on my nails right now. So I'll be wearing this a lot, right there. And then the last one is more of a taupey gray, and you guys have seen this in my videos before. It's uh, OPI's Berlin There Done That from the Germany collection. And those are my three favorite nail polishes for fall. Uh, number three, favorite Starbucks fall drink. I don't like Starbucks too much. Don't hurt me, please. I just, I don't. But when I do go, I typically get the uh, white chocolate mocha hot of course so that's something that I would drink for fall is I would drink the white chocolate mocha um I'm not a fan of pumpkin and people love the pumpkin latte or the spice pump whatever it's called the spice pumpkin latte I'm not a fan so I'm not gonna group myself with everyone else in that particular uh, category as liking that drink because I don't like pumpkin um so yeah white chocolate mocha number four favorite fall candle now, this is where you're probably going to think I'm contradictory because my favorite, one of my favorite fall candles is the pumpkin caramel latte candle. 
Oh gosh, that doesn't make any sense. But I don't like to taste pumpkin. I don't like the taste of pumpkin. I'm more of a sweet potato girl. But the smell of this candle is heavenly. I think it has more to do with the caramel and the coffee than the um, pumpkin itself or the sweet cream and the caramel. That's what I'm thinking because uh, I don't like pumpkin. So don't think I'm crazy by not liking pumpkin lattes but loving to smell pumpkin latte. <laughs> so, and then my second candle that I love is the cinnamon sugar donut candle. Which I love cinnamon. Love cinnamon. Which is, is there cinnamon in this one too? No, there's not cinnamon in this one. But I love cinnamon so... This was hands down one of my favorites. I love sweets, if you can't tell, so. Okay, let's see. I'm using my phone to read the question, so that's why I keep looking down. Uh, favorite fall scarf or accessory? I have them both here. Sweaters and boots. I just recently purchased a sweater from um, Forever 21 that I really love, so this is it right here. It's just a striped ribbed sweater tan or light brown and pink which I just love to pieces and then my favorite fall boots you guys have already seen as well I did it in my haul when I went to Marshall's and to Express and they are I don't even remember what they're called oh my gosh they're something but yeah here they are <laughs> and you can if you can't tell already they're already well loved already well loved I love these things and then um yeah, this is the other one over here. So, my sweater and my boots. I love scarves too, but sweaters and boots are hands down my favorite. Oversized sweaters. I don't like thick sweaters. You can see the one I'm wearing here is pretty loose fitting as well. I don't like to have things under my armpits suffocating me. So, okay, then next thing. Haunted house, haunted hayride, or haunted corn maze. Ultimately, neither. I'm not a fan of haunted anything. When I was younger, I used to love to be scared all the time, but as I've gotten older, not my thing. No. Um, but if I had to choose, I'd say Haunted Hayride simply because I'd be writing something. I'd be sitting down as I'm being scared. So I guess that makes it a little better. Okay, uh, next question. Favorite Halloween movie? I have two. Nightmare on Elm Street. The original, I don't even know if they did a remake, so why did I say that? But the one with Johnny Depp and, you know, Johnny Depp, you gotta see more. And then The Exorcist with Linda Blair. Um, the Exorcist is a interesting movie. If you haven't seen it, I do recommend you go see it, but I also recommend that you be with someone while you're watching it, because it's just really creepy. It's, it's creepy. But Nightmare on Elm Street, um, Freddy Krueger, with the claw, oh, that still freaks me out to this day. And let's see, favorite candy to eat on Halloween. I don't really think I need Halloween to eat candy, but the cool thing, because the candy that I like to eat is, a, is around, year round, but it turns orange during Halloween. And that is my Kit Kats. I love Kit Kats, and so whenever I get the opportunity to have the orange ones. I am so game. So, so game. I just, I like themey candy. I like the Reese's Pumpkin candies too. But here are the Kit Kats right here. They're, oh, they're so good. I'll eat this one afterwards because I'll probably get lipstick on my teeth if I try to eat that now. Um, so yeah, Kit Kats, orange ones, and the pumpkin shaped Reese's. Then, number nine. What are you dressing up for as how? I mean, what are you dressing up as for Halloween? I don't dress up for Halloween anymore. I'm really, really over it. And I never got as much excitement from doing it as a lot of my friends do. But my thing is more about having trick-or-treaters come to my house, little kids come to my house dressed up as something excited to get candy. So that's my favorite part of Halloween. So I w I'm, I'm a themey person, so I'd probably wear like an orange shirt with like a pumpkin on it or something just to participate in the theme, but I don't necessarily dress up as a character or in a costume for Halloween. Um, then the last question, I think, 
What is your favorite thing about fall? Three things. The fashion, the changing color of the leaves, and Thanksgiving. I um, love those three things. Uh, let me make sure I answered all the questions before I go any further. I've done that before, did a whole tag video, and then I only answered, like, I, I forgot two of the questions. So, um, I think I got them all. So, yeah, this was fun. Uh, doing the I Love Fall tag. I love fall. I don't know why I just sang that. I don't know why I'm singing this. I don't know why I'm singing this. Okay, that means it's time to go. Um, I tag all of you to do this tag. I tag all of you to do this tag. Yeah, it's definitely time for me to go. Um, but specific people, I will list in the description box below. So until my next video, you guys, I thank you so much for the kind words, by the way, in my car situation. I really, really appreciate it. I have been so well accepted in the YouTube community and I, um, love this. I love being able to just make videos for you guys and for myself as well. It's very cathartic for me to be able to have this avenue of expression. So I thank you guys for watching and supporting me and, you know, spread the word, you know, tell your friends uh, about my channel and, you know, hopefully I'll get more subscribers soon. I just love to be able to talk to people. And um, if you guys have any suggestions or recommendations about what videos I should make, and they can be non-beauty videos, most definitely. But if you have any, just leave a comment down below. Shoot me a personal message. I read every single personal message I get. Tumblr, Facebook, Twitter. Hit me up any kind of way you wish to. And I definitely will respond. I love talking to you guys, not just through video, but through any other means as well. So that's my spiel. And I will see you guys in the next video.